Hey everyone, so today we're in my bathroom because I'm gonna be dyeing my hair pink. So I've been wanting to change up my hair and dye it for a while, but I literally can't afford to go to the hair salon because it's a lot of money. So I'm gonna switch up my hair in a way that won't make me go completely broke. So I'm using the Arctic Fox Virgin Pink hair dye. I've actually colored my hair before with the purple one. So now I'm gonna try the pink one just to switch it up. So I've already shampooed my hair and I haven't put any hair products in, which is why it's kind of poofy and frizzy. This is gonna be an adventure. My hair could either look absolutely amazing or it could look like an atrocity. We will see. So first we gotta put on the gloves. And the virgin pink hair color is actually more like a very vibrant hot pink, which is probably a little bit too much for me. So I'm actually going to dilute this with conditioner. And I have this black tray and this plastic spoon to mix the hair stuff. I don't have any fancy tools, so this is gonna have to do. I'm also just gonna use my hands to put it in because I'm too lazy to get like a brush thing. But let's get mixing. Damn, that's really pink. So I'm just gonna put like half of it in here. I don't know. I don't know how much to put in. Look at that, y'all. Oh, she's she's sliding down. But she is so pink. That smells really good. It smells like grape juice. I'm here for it. I'm kind of scared. Like, what if this looks so bad? <laughs> I guess it's temporary, so it's okay. That's part of the fun, you know, like not knowing how it's gonna turn out and if you're gonna love or hate it. Um, that's that's the spice of life. Okay, I added so much conditioner, but it still looks super pink. I don't know what I was expecting though, so I feel like it's fine. We're just gonna, we're just gonna try it out. So I'm actually gonna tie up the top part of my hair and just do my hair in layers. I'm gonna do this lower half first. All right, let's do this. I'm kind of stressed, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna commit. I'm just like, taking it with my hands and I'm just gonna go to town. Damn, that's really pink. <laughs> oh no, I already got it on my ear. So the blonde in my hair is really grown out so I don't think it's gonna show up that well on my brown hair. That's fine, you know, at least I'll have pink on the lower half of my head. So I'm gonna use this comb actually to sort of distribute the hair dye more evenly because my hair is so curly that it's just it's kind of hard to get product in there properly without a comb. Okay, the hair dies in and this is very pink. Um, so I'm gonna leave this in for like 30 minutes and we're gonna come back and wash it out. But in the meantime, this video is in collaboration with Dossier, so let's find out more about them. So as y'all know, I've worked with Dossier before and I still really like their perfumes. They're vegan and cruelty-free, which is what we love to see in any brand. Also, they create fragrances inspired by luxury perfumes, but at a really affordable price. So the two that I have here are only $29 each. So you can feel rich and luxurious, but at only a fraction of the price so it's honestly a win-win situation so the first perfume that i got is called fruity jasmine and that one is inspired by dior's j'adore so i really like this one because it's more floral and delicate and it has a really fresh scent i also got floriential almond which is inspired by carolina herrera's good girl so i actually have the original good girl perfume and to be honest, it smells a little bit similar. They've got like similar base notes, but there's definitely a difference. I wouldn't say the Floriential Almond Perfume is like an exact dupe, but it still smells good in its own way. I still like both of them, but they're just like slightly different. But yeah, I've been using their perfumes a lot lately and I still think they smell delicious. So if you want to check them out, I have a link in my description for 10% off. And now back to the video. And we're back and now it's time to wash out my hair and see how it turned out. Okay, so I had to hop in the shower because it was so hard to get off and I'm pretty sure I stained parts of my scalp a little bit, but here is the final result. It's very vibrant, but I kind of like it actually. I think I would have preferred a pastel pink, but I think it will fade eventually. But for now, I think the hot pink is actually pretty cool. Like it's not something I would have normally chosen to go for, 
but it's it's a look so i'm gonna wait till this dries and then show you guys the final result but yeah that's the end of my hair dyeing journey thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye